I would like to start with the word to thank you and then I'm very honored to be here with you. It's going in and it's a very valuable knowledge you're sharing mm. and I think it needs to be in every language, in mm. every country we need to go over it so we have a quality life actually. The more we are uh, in constant with, with ourselves, with our partners, with our mm -hmm. families, mm -hmm. the quality of life will change. That's yes. That's I how that's I true. feel it in me. Tell us a bit about your uh, the way this wheel of consent is working and this the yes and no's which we yeah. don't really know in yeah. our lives to use. Well, mm. consent means basically the ability to say yes or no mm -hmm. to what someone else wants. And many of us, particularly women, those of us who are raised as women, have been taught that saying no is not an option. Mm -hmm. You just have to say yes to everything. And um, what's unfortunate about that is that uh, neither of you really gets to have very much fun if, you, if no one can ever say no. No, yeah. Like, yeah, so the Wheel of Consent is about the difference between who is doing and who it's for. So it's most it's based on an experience of exchanging touch between two people. Mm -hmm. And it applies to very much more. But it starts out with practices of touch. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I might ask you how you want me to touch you. And you might say, well, scratch my head or rub my shoulders or massage my arms or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I'll decide, if is that something that I can do mm -hmm. and I'm willing to do? And if it is, then we'll do that. Mm -hmm. um, or, so that's that's touching you for your enjoyment something that you want mm -hmm. and that's very different than touching you in the way that i want so maybe i want to feel what your hair feels like i may want to hold your hand mm -hmm. i might want to feel what your eyebrow feels like that is touching you the way i want mm -hmm. and both of those are important to be able to have those skills mm -hmm. and to be able to tell the difference mm -hmm. and that's what the wheel of consent is about being able to tell the difference when i'm touching you is it for you or is it for me and we need some we need times of both of those neither of them uh they're they're both good things to do mm -hmm. And it makes a big difference if you can be clear about which one of those you're doing. So, um, in the U.S. culture, people confuse touch with sex. And I imagine that in the Turkish culture, it's probably even more so, maybe. Yes. That, that if touch is happening, you assume that sex is close by or or somebody wants sex mm -hmm. but you don't think about all the kinds of touch that you experience that are not about sex, sex. Yeah. for example you hold your children on your lap to comfort them mm -hmm. or you help grandmother up the stairs you put your hand on her elbow and you help her up the stairs mm -hmm. or you hug your friend who's crying. Uh, another big part of the wheel is separating touch from sex. sex. And it's really important and it's really helpful mm -hmm. because touch is something that we all need. We are born with a need for touch. We never outgrow it. Mm -hmm. We need it all our lives. And it's not about sex. 
So learning to separate those out is really mm -hmm. important. And it's difficult to do in a culture in which they're mushed together because you it makes it difficult to say to your neighbor, do you want to cuddle? <laughs> <laughs> because they're like, wow, ah, ah, you, you know, do they want sex? Yeah. Um, so very often it happens in communities uh, of people who are exploring certain things or in workshops where you may have, um, you may take turns rubbing each other's shoulders, not about sex at all. It's a learned <laughs> distinction. Yeah. And it just makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. 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 So within that context, the wheel of consent is about learning the difference if i'm touch if i'm if my hands are on your shoulders is it because you want them there or is it because i want them there do an exercise called waking up the hands mm -hmm. in which you take some object and you you feel it you use your hand to feel mm -hmm. the object it's rough here it's edges here it's smooth here just what does this thing feel like in my hand? Mm -hmm. For many people, that seems very strange. Mm -hmm. Like, that's really weird. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but it, it wakes up this nerve connection from your hand up into your brain, yeah. which for most people is kind of fallen asleep. Mm -hmm. And when I can feel feel the pleasure in my hand then I can also feel the pleasure when I'm touching a person and so that's why we start with that exercise because mm -hmm. if I'm if we're doing an exercise where I'm touching you the way I want then I need to be able to feel my hands otherwise I can't feel you then I I can't Mm -hmm. do that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if I were to feel your hair or explore your ear or touch your face I need these nerves in my skin awake mm -hmm. in order to be able to feel the texture of your mm -hmm. hair mm -hmm. with my hand and the and that's an example of mm -hmm. you probably never had that opportunity before or and not only, very much. She was Maybe playing with my daughter's, daughter's hair. hair. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or braiding your child's hair. Yes. Yeah. I was also struck by the, the, the giver and the taker uh, quadrants that we always thought once we are um, giving ourselves, it is, uh, you know, one way or the other. We have nothing to do with it. It's only the person opposite. But it's not true. On the other hand, the giver also get something so I mean if I have asked permission may I play with your hair or may I hold your hand or may I feel your ears I am touching you the way I want mm -hmm. and the gift that you are giving me is you yeah and you are a real gift there's a different experience that each of us have yeah and it's a very different experience. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling you the way I want, and you are experiencing giving me the gift of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And for many people, uh, I mean, for most people, this is a very difficult thing to learn. Yes. Uh, it, yeah. As, as it, you've is. it is. When you can ask the person, how do you want to be touched? Now you get to say, touch me this way, touch me that way. Mm -hmm. Be able yes. to say no yes. to the desires of other, but yes. to find a way to co combine it again between uh, partners, yes. let's say. A sexual partner, it would be very interesting that, okay, one starts mm -hmm. as a taker and uh, mm -hmm. the man is a taker and you, you, you give your present and then it can turn into another game where the woman would be the Take oh yes, the wheel of consent. You learn how to notice what you want and how to ask for it. Mm -hmm. 
And that's the hardest part yes. for most people. Because most of us have been taught not to want anything mm -hmm. or not to pay attention to what we want. And so we don't know what we want. I, what do I want? I don't know. I've never <laughs> had that. No one has ever asked me that before. I wouldn't know where to start mm -hmm. because no one has ever done anything to me that's really great. So how would I know what I want? That's the yeah. case for many, many people, yeah. especially women. Sad. Yeah. To have your partner just say, okay, tell me what you want. <laughs> Most women would have no clue where to start. Yeah. yeah. So that's why with the wheel of consent, you start in very small for three minutes or something very, very simple that's not sexy. Yes so that you gradually learn how to notice that there is in fact something that you would like. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's having your hand held. Maybe it's rubbing your ears. Maybe it's scratching your head. Maybe it's rubbing your neck. Mm -hmm. um, but you learn <coughs> gradually that there is in fact something that sounds like it would feel good. Yeah. And you yeah. start to learn how to ask for that. Yeah. And then, oh, who knows? It works. So then you realize, oh, wait a minute. It, it, it works. Well, I could ask for this or I could yeah. ask for that. Yeah. And so the, the skill and the asking grows gradually. Yeah. What I've noticed the most in, in Turkey was that women don't know how to say no. Yes. And uh, I had an incident in one of my wor workshop workshops I intended where I was slightly harassed and I didn't say no because I felt ashamed to yes. bring out my voice. And yes. then, um, but then I, we had another wheel where we had to sit, uh, confront each other and say no. Mm -hmm. And I just burst it out and screamed. And this is a big thing for women. Get your voice back and yeah. be able to say, no, this is not yeah. correct. I don't want yeah. or, or yeah. negotiate. Yes. I, I don't like this. No, but why yeah. can't we do it this way? Yes. I would yes. like you to touch me this way. Thank you. Thank so you. Be... Glad to have you here. Oh, oh, it was really nice. And thank you for having the time of course. to make this little video. Of course. Yeah, my and pleasure. And I hope it will help us all to learn more and then bring the wheel of consent and this the giver and take a subject to to turkey let's Thank see you. how i'm okay gonna... yes 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 i'm gonna do this <laughs> <laughs> thank you so yes, much you.